I am a woman phenomenally. Phenomenal woman? That's me, Maya Angelo. Welcome to this segment of the Afrocentris podcast, The Woman, Her Story, and Her Impact, where I get to speak to women from across the globe, sharing their stories and how they are impacting their world. Coming to you every Wednesday, 4 p.m. GST. Of course, with your favorite show host, The Energetic EJ. So make it a date with me every Wednesday. The Afrocentris Podcast, proudly African. All right, welcome back, guys. Are you ready for the final part of the story? Are you ready? Okay, so... Huh. I can imagine the excitement. Yeah. Finally seeing your dream come true. Yeah. And what has the journey been since then? What has it been like since then till now? I would say it's been amazing because when people hear your story, when people see how hard you fell, I mean, maybe, I mean, I've experienced um, love and, and warmth and acceptance throughout my journey in the industry because I've lived in so many parts of the world and mm. I've, I've done my fashion and anywhere I go, I, I do. I practice fashion, I in art and um, in Dubai, it's been the same. People mm. are so warm and friendly and um, it's been an amazing journey. journey. I've had sponsorships and, and support ever since then, mm-hmm. you know. So it's been uphill since then and I would say I have I have said I would never want anyone, you know, to to experience, to experience. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's a very deep long story. Hmm. But I This just, is just summary summary. You know, <laughs> yeah. Maybe someday she's mm-hmm. gonna write a book about it. I, I should, I should. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> So you started a mentorship program and now you are helping other women come into the fashion space, you know, to support them. Yeah. Now, before you even tell us how it's going in the mentorship, what was it that inspired you to say you wanted to pay it forward? Because I mean, some other person would have thought, man, this is hard. Like, I'm just going to do my thing going forward. But you are like, no, I'm going to take this pain yeah. and I'm going to keep remembering it. Not because I want to hold on to the pain, but I don't want any other person to experience the same pain. And that is why you now set up this to help people who are coming to this. What what inspired you to do that? I have to say this. Um, the people that come to me have helped me heal because it was a very long process of healing like I told you it's still really touchy when I talk about it because I've not gone into detail but the way I fell was really bad like I don't even know any other word to, to, to actually describe how bad it was yeah but um yeah the people that come to me help help to heal yes absolutely and that's what keeps you going like that's okay. what keeps me going. okay i'm gonna keep on yes helping them i love it oh i do love it so how is it going with the mentorship or oh, when you see them because like when you when you wept on that stage i'm like i could just imagine what exactly was going through your head i I really, you know, I can't believe how many lives have have touched and how many people, you know, actually, you know, acknowledge or are grateful for it. But the little thing that I, because I don't believe I did so much for that girl, but she, she stood up and she said, oh, Madupe changed my life and, you know, I am what I am now because of her. And I'm like, who are you talking about? You know, so um, that things was like, like that, yeah. you know, really touch me. And I, I see my students. I see people that, that some even um, inbox me on Insta, Instagram. And, and um, see, I'm choking up now. <laughs> I want water. <laughs> you know, some people inbox me on Instagram and say, um, you know, I, I want to, you know, I want you to, to mentor, mentor me. me or I want you to tell me how to go. I'm starting my my. my um, fashion um, um, business. business and stuff and and I'm, I jump at it you know I don't even I <laughs> your heart is just like okay let's let me help you <sighs> oh you're such a sweet mom no, <laughs> like and they all call me mom I that know. is yes like, why would you call her they mom all- <laughs> 
she like her motherly nature comes through like you can feel it you talk to Dubai once and you can feel it like she, like I was in conversation with somebody it's like I can't wait to see your episode with Modu but I really love that oh woman seriously goodness. and I'm like okay oh, thank you <laughs> thank That's you so no thank you for being you thank you for paying it forward thank you for being open I mean I have met you just for a little while mm-hmm. and I know how how happy and how free and just how authentic I feel every time I'm with you oh, you see thank you. um thank you for being you really you. like you have a very warm heart oh my god and goodness. it comes through when people interact with you you see you so words. thank you so much i appreciate you i'm going to ask this final question before we go yeah. is that when you look at it now maybe some young girl is watching this right now and saying well something bad happened she oh. came through i mean she's a lot of things are not that bad after all she had two people that sponsored her <laughs> <laughs> what if, if i'm looking oh, at and i don't have anybody to sponsor me like you did where do i start from as a fashionpreneur as somebody who wants to set up a fashion business where do i start from you know what keeps you going what would you tell that young person I will tell you if you are truly passionate about it. I call those people my angels. What did I tell you the last time? Humans do not find angels. Angels Angel. find humans. Sweet table moments right there. Humans don't find angels. Angels find humans. So how do we position so I, that the angels find us? I oh. <laughs> always to go through i tell my my students or people that i talk to in 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 um, um conferences always find an incubator program to join mm. find a school find a little uh community you can actually first plug yourself into mm. the rest will follow mm. yes so this is especially going now to you if mm. you are thinking of maybe changing location mm-hmm. for example i mean a lot of people are thinking of coming to dubai what are the opportunities and things like that and you know this is part of the reason that i want to share the stories yeah. of people who are here who are probably not natively from here but are doing amazing work yeah. here as women so when you get into a new place and you need to you need to start something the first thing that's what she says plug in into a hub a network a community of like-minded people and the rest will take care of itself Absolutely. but when it comes to attitude as a person mm-hmm. as this fashion entrepreneur mm-hmm. what are the things that they should do when they plug into that community if they find i mean everyone says be humble <laughs> <laughs> you know um just go after that passion go after it like a demon like a lion you know is the passion for me like, like don't let will, it go don't let it go don't let it go you'll find yourself there you will definitely find yourself there <laughs> so good <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been an amazing Thank time you. talking to This you. This was so much fun. You made me, you know, be myself as well. You are so sweet and Thank and, you. you know, warm. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much Thank coming. you so much. Before yeah. we go, we're not going to go without telling you that Runway Dubai is happening this year. It happens every year actually, but last year, okay, obviously Uncle Covid didn't allow us to do anything, <laughs> right? But now we're back like, hey, Covid, yeah. please sit aside. Mm-hmm. We coming through. Yeah. Please tell us about Runway Dubai 2021. It's going to be fun, wild, amazing. It's all colors. The the theme is polychrome, which you know what it means. Just come with all the wild colors that you have. Look for your best outfit and if if you don't have one just go get one now because it is happening live. Yes. Woo! It's yes. happening live in Dubai yes. in November. Mm-hmm. But just watch out. Mm-hmm. Watch her watch her page on Instagram. She yeah. is blessed with black black TV. <laughs> blessed with black TV. Why blessed with black TV though? Okay, um I always say this. <laughs> What does black in fashion signify? Class. Okay. Authority. Okay. Strengthness. Strength. Hmm. Strength. Um and um 
perseverance. And um, I would say that's who I am in a nutshell and my journey in fashion. So that's why I said I am absolutely blessed with mm. black. But where's the TV? The TV is because... <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna own a TV station someday. The TV so. is because no, not that. <laughs> the TV is because I um I if you go on my page you would see it's all videos. You don't see pictures. I'm not that person. I always like to tell a story, capture the moment. It's not about me. My mm. page is not about me. Um, it's about my journey in the fashion industry. That's why I said TV is like a tube. It's so like a, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah, and you're gonna love her when you follow her. Like I love the ones I love. Sometimes are those back backstage, like behind the scenes. Yeah, when she's having coffee or when she's just having a good day or she's just <laughs> dropping nuggets. Go follow her. Thank Blessed you. with Black TV, mm -hmm. and then you also get all the uh, information when Runway Dubai is going to be, the dates, yeah. the venue, so that if you are in Dubai for that for in that season, you can be a part of it. You so just keep welcome. watch. Yes. Uh, also follow Runway on Dubai, right. Runway, Runway Dubai. Dubai on Instagram, mm -hmm. so that you can get all the details and you can be a part of the show. Especially, I mean, it's even in between, like during the expo. So it's going to be amazing. Thank Don't you. not miss it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't know mess up. We're gonna be there, you know, to do some give you some gist about it, but don't miss it. Like, why should you let me tell you if you can be there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been exciting. I hope that you've learned one thing or two from Madupe's story. And please do follow her across her social media platform. She's black, blessed with black TV and then runway Dubai. So you can follow her so that you are, you know, alerted about how the runway is going to go, what dates, what venue, so that if you are in town, you can be a part of it. And if you are here in the UAE, you can be a part of it. And if you're not, you can travel down and be a part of it, okay? <laughs> We'll be expecting you is going to perform to like come your way again next week or next time with yet another story another woman and how she's impacting our world it is i aj rosaka day your energetic ej saying have a glorious 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 day bye <laughs> i am a woman phenomenally phenomenal woman that's me Maya Angelo. Welcome to this segment of the Afrocentris podcast. The woman, her story, and her impact, where I get to speak to women from across the globe, sharing their stories and how they are impacting their world. Coming to you every Wednesday, 4 p.m. GST. Of course, with your favorite show host, The Energetic EJ. So make it a date with me every Wednesday. The Afrocentris podcast, proudly African.